So how are you at making decisions? Do you drive yourself crazy? I know I can. You know, without even thinking about it, we make a lot of decisions every day from what we're going to wear to are we going to make the bed? Am I going to go to the gym? I mean, we're always making decisions. Some decisions have more impact than other, other decisions, obviously. Like if I'm going to move out of town or if I'm going to buy a house or if I'm, out of buy, if I'm going to buy a new vehicle, those decisions are obviously a lot more important than if I decide to wear a blue shirt or a green shirt on a certain day, right? But decisions can just really drive you crazy sometimes. You know, even as kids, when we're trying to decide something, what do we do sometimes? Rock, paper, scissors. You know, that's how the decision is made. If you'll notice in the background here is the courthouse. Lots of decisions are made here. Decisions that affect people's fate. And I'm sure people, you know, especially if you're on the jury, just really struggle with decisions, guilty, or not guilty and then the judge has to decide what kind of sentence to hand down based on the decision they made so decisions man they just it's like a progression you know everything just snowballs a decision that you make could have lasting impact for a long long time have you ever regretted a decision that you've made I know I have this is what I've discovered the more you live in that regret the more miserable you make yourself you can do this instead of regretting bad decisions you've made in the past how about trying this God works through everything for my good he loves me he can work through a, even a bad decision did you know that he's bigger than your bad decisions you've made wow I love that it's like as, as a parent if your kid makes a wrong choice and they come to you and they say dad help me you don't say well that was the wrong choice I'm not gonna help you no you're there for your kid so let's say we have a decision to make and we make the wrong one and we veer off the path that God had intended for us. He doesn't say, well, when you make your way back to me, then we'll continue on our journey. Nope, he's right there with us saying, well, this isn't the best path that I wanted you to go down, but I love you. I'm gonna walk with you and I'm gonna get you back on track again. That's the kind of loving God that we have. You know, I have a verse that I wanna share with you from King Solomon, I love this. It's 1 Kings chapter three. King Solomon asked the Lord, give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. Who could possibly rule over this great nation of yours? Solomon was asking God for wisdom. I think it's so easy for us as Christians to say, well, pray about that. How do you pray about a decision you have to make? I think God gives us some brains. We can weigh the pros, we can weigh the cons. We can intelligently think about the different consequences of certain decisions that we make. And then we just simply trust God. We say, God, give me insight. Give me understanding. Give me wisdom to make the right decision. And most importantly of all, I want to keep in mind that if it goes against your word, obviously I know that's not the right decision. I want to do what pleases you and what gives you glory. As you make decisions this week, may you give them to the Lord, know that he's with you, quit living in the past, regret of the decisions that you made that you didn't like and realize that God can work through all of that and he empowers you to keep moving forward for his glory and for the good of our fellow man. This is Pastor John from The Branch. Have a great day.